crush him in November and take our Thank country you. back. Go to Nick Haley, Ambassador Haley. This is sort of a new version of DeSantis. I don't think we've seen his version of the prior previous debates. On commercials on TV, and everybody from CNN to Newsmax has said that his ads are false. On this subject, I confess I myself am at this stage in 2015. Ben Carson was ahead by 10 points in Iowa, and Ted Cruz was at seven. But as okay, you know so better than everybody else, this is not 2016. You've got an in functionally an incumbent president you you're trying to change people's minds. He was significantly about. more popular in 2016 than he is today, and that's a fact. He's also he more was well -known an unknown now. quantity. Now he was just as well known back then, just as well known. The guy was on network television for 10 years. Come on, he had one of the top-rated shows on TV. What we do. We knew less about Donald Trump back then than we know today, and everything we've learned about him in the last seven years makes him less qualified, less fit, and less electable. And where was me up there? I finally got a chance. You know, after a while, you know, when the stage is that big, you know, you got to make a decision about whether you want to you know, keep interrupting all the time. But tonight, the stage was smaller, it was more manageable, and I told all you guys, there's only one prosecutor on that stage. You saw me prosecute the case against each one of them tonight, and that's exactly the way I'll prosecute the case against Joe Biden next November, and that's why I'm going to be president in 25. And they all swarmed him, and I was like literally Where she goes, like she's on camera. I know I was, yeah, I know I was just.